L.A. Knight does an L.A. Knight promo. Oh, God. Here we go. And his, one of his catchphrases is, he'll say something, and then say, it's not an insult, that's a fact of life. And instead of for that here, the full sentence was, it's L.A. Knight's game, and that is not an insult, that is just a fact of life. And he's right. It's L.A. Knight's game is not an insult. I wasn't insulted. I'm sure Bronson Reed was not insulted. You didn't need to clarify it was not an insult. If you're supposed to be an insult, you need to think of a better insult. I got to talk about this Bronson Reed L.A. Knight match. Okay. So I'm a huge fan of Bronson. Love the guy. Yeah. Less of a fan of L.A. Knight. Nothing against sure. the fella, but I mean, sure. this gimmick is just like L.A. Knight. It started off, the name kills it from the get go. So anyway, they go in there. L.A. Knight and Bronson Reed have been feuding since L.A. Knight debuted. They're finally having their match. And Bronson's beating the shit out of this guy. And he's pummeling him. And he gives him a high backdrop. And he gave him this awesome fucking power slam as he's coming off the ropes. I'm watching this and he just beats him and he beats him and he beats him. And finally, I'm thinking, is he going like to beat him and then slip on a banana peel? But no, uh, Knight necks him, and Knight starts getting heat. And he gets heat. And he gets heat. Mm -hmm. And I'm actually begging for them to go to commercial. But he keeps getting heat. And then they do go to commercial. And when they come back, he's still getting heat. Yeah. I'm like, how long is this fucking match? So then, Bronson starts making a comeback. And he makes a great comeback. And I'm watching him beat the shit out of this guy. And I'm thinking, you know what? So, LA Knight's going to win. And, like, they made sure... They wanted to make sure that Bronson looked good before losing. But, like, he looked so good that, like, when LA Knight wins, I'm going to be disappointed. I'm going to be like, well, why didn't Bronson Reed win? I cannot even figure out what they're doing with this booking because Bronson looks so awesome. And I'm just going to be so disgusted when LA Knight wins. And they start fighting up top. First, Bronson goes up top. And I'm like, well, he ain't hitting this fucking splash. And LA Knight cuts him off. I'm, ah, of course. I'm trying to think, what the fuck is LA Knight's finish? How are they going to get into the finish from here? So they're fighting, and Bronson shoves the guy off. And LA Knight leaps to his feet, and he runs, and he, he vaults up onto the rope again. I'm thinking, what's he going to do? Superplex this fucking guy? But no... Bronson shoves him off again and does the big splash and pins him. I fucking started laughing. I But then I'm mad. I'm like, you wasted all my fucking time with this LA yes. Knight only to beat yes. him? Yes. So then I'm really conflicted. I'm like, well, I got everything I wanted. I wanted Bronson Reed to beat the fuck out of this guy, and he looked great, and he should have won this match when you watched the match. But damn it. What the fuck did you build up this L.A. Knight for? And all these promos, and he's going to come in and he's a big star. I'm just flabbergasted watching this thing. I still don't know how to process it. And then Dave's like, well, I'm sure he's going to do really well in the gauntlet. I'm like, oh, my fucking God. You're going to beat this guy like this, and then he's going to go and win this fucking gauntlet? And the There's no way. That would infuriate me. I, I can't even imagine <laughs> it. So I still don't know what in the fuck is going on. But what I do know is, at the end of the day, I was pleased... That Bronson Reed was victorious here. You, you and I were on very, very much the same wavelength up to, uh, on on this match. We, we, we were both bigger fans of Bronson Reed than L.A. Knight. I think that's fair. We both saw little of L.A. Knight in this match that made us think he should be beating Bronson Reed. We were both stunned when Bronson Reed won. And then suddenly, I, I began to sympathize with L.A. Knight because this seems like a very, very, very bad sign. That he's they gave you him that don't build. fucking say they gave him that build on all those promos and all those weeks and he came out for his debut last week and even though he won he sold for half of it and he comes out here for his second match ever on the show and gets destroyed and pinned yes this seems like a very very bad sign and I feel badly for him I didn't feel bad for him in the sense that he was in developmental years ago he was in WWE he was in WWE developmental years ago. And, and Slate, what the fuck was his name? I've been trying to remember all day. Mandrake? <laughs> Slate Gordon? 
<laughs> something that weird. That was the, Slade Gordon was a Washington State senator for many years. <laughs> yeah, was, is that why up. I thought of that? Yes. Okay, hold on a second. Now I got to find out because it would drive me crazy. Because it was like, it was like a, a, an equally hideous name. It's, it's probably the worst one he's had. We're just saying something. <laughs> but I'm not even sure because, like, L.A. Knight's so horrible. But L.A. Knight is at least Slate memorable. Randall. <laughs> Slate Randall. Slate Randall is worse than Ellie Knight. Okay, let's. By the way, let's look at uh, the names that uh, this fellow's used in his career. Okay. Okay. The real name is Sean Ricker. All right. So he's used L. A. Knight. Yes. Deuce. There was another Deuce. Dick Rick. No. Dick Rick Lycus. Ellie Ho Day. What? Ellie Ho Day Trump. And Slate Randall. And of course, Eli Drake. I feel much less bad for him now. <laughs> if that's the, if that's what he's got after a decade of this. Now, granted, I got this from Wikipedia, so I mean, there's a, there's a decent chance that somebody made up Dick Rick Lycus, but I mean, uh, who am I to doubt? I, mean, huh. I normally doubt Wikipedia. But anyway, the point of this is, I mean, for sure, for sure, he was Slate Randall. He right. didn't get over. Okay. The point of all of this is, so he he's there as Slate Randall. He ends up out of there, and so he goes to other places, uh, you know, uh, TNA, Global, whatever, Impact. And then he's given an offer. And so I know, I, I know what he thought. He thought, well, this time I will get over. This time. Unlike last time when I was Slate Randall, L.A. Knight's going to get me over, and I'm going to be a big star. Well, here he is. Got two weeks and was beaten by Bronson Reed. Now, it could be an aberration, all right? But, I mean, there are a few exceptions. You know, one of them would be Drew McIntyre. But in general, in general, if you are released from WWE, or, for example, your, um, what's his name, the 24-7 geek, Gulak, Drew Gulak. Like, they're doing jack shit with Drew Gulak. They never use him. So they offer him a new contract. I'm sure they promised him something. I'm sure he thought, well, now they're paying me more. They must use me. Well, where the fuck is Drew? He's doing the same exact fucking thing he was doing before his contract expired. So the moral of the story is, if you were ever in WWE and they didn't do shit with you and you left and went somewhere else, there's a chance that when you come back, everything will be all right. But the odds are you're going to come back in the exact same spot you were when you left. EC3. Here's another one. Yeah. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.